How you doing? We're coming to you from the uh, second hole of the ocean in our first uh, informational uh, video with uh, Jim and I based on uh, questions that have come up. Um, our first one we're looking at uh, soil structure and uh, root zone and, and things that are affecting our watering practices. Uh, ba basically what we have are two very distinct areas uh, on the golf course where sod has been placed over, over you know, sand that we brought in to build up fairways and things like that. So the, uh, the pictures we're going to show you, what, it, what it's showing is where the sod was placed on the fairways. Sod has grown in an environment uh, of, of a clay soil. It, uh, it helps them get their, uh, you know, their turf established faster and all that. But once it's just, uh, placed down on the golf course, there's a uh, clay layer and that clay layer has to be broken up. And until, uh, until we get multiple aerifications, uh, it'll, it'll exist. So the pictures that we're going to show you will show you the, uh, the about a, maybe three quarters of an inch down that clay layer will hold moisture and it holds a, sig a significant amount of moisture. Um, and with that, it, it has a soggy feel to it. So uh, it, it appears that, you know, some areas have water. Uh, build up and things like that, but really what's happening is it's trapped in that top inch and uh, You know we have to keep breaking that up. So we took some samples and they're they're literally one foot apart of uh, existing versus the, uh, the new stuff and you'll see you'll see the soil structure is much more sandy in the new stuff But you also see the clay layer about an inch down and that is where the water gets trapped so our process is to to continually aerify and uh, you know we'll start top dressing uh, in the fall and, and try to try to create the same environment for both uh, areas of turf so uh, you know that's where we're at with the watering uh, and, and what is affecting our watering right now like I say literally one foot apart you'll you have a significant different soil type um, and, and that's just the way it is that's the way construction goes and different materials are brought in and used and, and that's uh, you know that's creating what we have right now as a, a maybe a little bit of a soft top in some of these sodded areas so with that also you'll see on uh, the, mostly the par 3 tees or any of the tees that we've done over uh, you have that very same thing and the, the second issue with that is once that clay dries out the tee becomes extremely firm so there's issues of putting a tee in the ground and then you water it and it gets too soggy and you you know your, your footing is a little unstable so there's air, there's areas that we're working on on a daily basis to correct and i think uh you know we're getting there i'm finding more and more areas are, are you know responding better to some of the verification we've done and some of the products we've put down so our uh our watering practices i think are, are pretty standard we are trying to dry things out but when you dry some areas out and you have these sod areas uh, we're going to run into some health issues for the turf so we're doing uh, you know we're monitoring every area we have 2,500 sprinkler heads and uh, we're monitoring those and adjusting those and, and doing what we can to provide a, a more consistent um, irrigation practice across the golf course.